In this episode of Blue Byte Backstage, we're visiting the development team of The Settlers Online and taking a look behind the scenes of the upcoming updates. So what's the new content all about? Let's check it out right now and get the inside scoop directly from the developers. One new feature we have is the mountain buff. It's an item you can use on rocks and mountains on your island. If you apply it, it needs a little bit to prepare and when it's done, you can click on the mountain and it will explode. Of course, when the mountains are gone, you have a lot of space for buildings and all that stuff, and deeper buildings, what you want to place there. We know that the players need a lot of space on their islands and we are working on several ways to give the players more space. The mountain buff is now the first version we release, but more ways will come to get more space. Now that we learned more about the demolition expert, we want to turn our focus toward the new scenarios in the game. Let's discover now what they're all about. Okay, the scenarios is well, they're basically uh, new content we added to the game. A lot of players actually wished for a more economical challenge besides uh, expeditions and military adventures. So we decided to bring these scenarios which are basically small stories and which the player needs to use their economical power to solve these little stories and conflicts. Uh, as a player, when you visit one of those scenario islands, uh, usually the first thing you need to do is you need to collect some items and then you can bring back these items to your kingdom and in your provision house, combining this with other resources from your island, you can produce buffs. Then you take these buffs, bring them back to the scenario and you can solve the story. On top of that, there's this added factor of, let's say, a time challenge. So depending on the difficulty of the scenario you're playing, there might be a harder time challenge for you as a player you also need to keep an eye on. Of course, a lot has been going on in the Settlers community. BB Graubart will get you up to speed with all the news, highlights and Settlers stories from the last months. Hi everyone! Um, although 2015 just started, um, 2014 was an amazing year with a very active Settlers Online community. Amongst others, we had a very successful prediction league during the Football World Championship with more than 40,000 participants. In total, the French player Al Chapone won our prediction league, but we had more than 120 players who won a nice prize for their game account. Furthermore, in 2014, we were at Gamescom in Cologne, so the Games Fair Trade, and we had hundreds of visitors who participated in our Q&A sessions with game design and community team, uh, or just played our game, won some prizes for their game accounts, or grabbed some loot. In 2014, we also received dozens of really nice forum spotlight contributions. As you know, if you post something in our forum, may it be a poem, a picture, a painting, whatsoever. So our community team will pick something and we really had some very nice contributions. So we're looking forward to 2015 to see more of your creativity. Last but not least, I really want to thank our moderators who help on a daily basis all players and the team to create a nice and decent calm environment in chats and forums and this has some really lovely side effects. In 2013, a German couple informed us that they met in TSO. Despite the distance of 700 kilometers, they fell in love, met each other and even got married. So thank you very much for sharing this story. In 2014, a Polish couple contacted us that they're expecting a tiny settler's baby. So all the best for your new family. And although 2015 just started, we have another nice love story, this time coming from the French instance. So all the best to both of you. And if you also have a nice story connected to the Settlers Online, do not hesitate to get in touch with our community team or just drop a line to our customer support who will forward your message. So I'd say thank you very much for 2014. We are looking forward to 2015 and see you in Settlers Online. On top of all this, the development team is also working on a completely new event for you. But what exactly is coming up here? We've got all the details for you. Like every year, we will also have a new Easter event this year. Let's talk about all the new stuff we have in. There's really a lot. Uh, first of all, there will be a new event resource, which is called Stripey Eggs. Don't worry, your old Easter eggs will still be worth something. Paula will tell you all about it in a second. But, but uh, what is very important, 
we will have one event resource per event and it will only be valid for this event. This will be the same for all events in the future. Also, what's with the level 6 upgrade this year, Paula? We decided that we want to take the iron chain, so this means the iron mine, the iron smelter and the iron weaponsmith can be upgraded to level 6 now. Another very, very new feature and very exciting feature, we think, is the new achievement building you can get during the Easter event. So this is a building which, is on, which will only be available during Easter. You can upgrade the building by collecting achievement points from achievements which are specifically designed for Easter. They are only available then and the more points you gather, the bigger will be your achievement building. The achievement building itself is a residence and it can inhabit up to 180 settlers if you do well on the achievement front. In the Easter category, you can find for Stripey eggs a new scenario which is called Where do the Easter eggs come from? You can go there on an island and you will recognize that the Easter eggs are in danger. So help to save the next Easter event. Also this year we have a lot of exciting new rewards for you. There's a new general, the Master of Defense, and there's a new supplier for PvP. Also because he was very popular and I mean you ask for it a lot really on a test service, we decided uh, that we will give all of you the chance to get another Master of Martial Arts uh, in this year's Easter event. And that brings us directly to the next point. What do you do with all the old Easter eggs? Later this year, we will make a small event where we open all the old event shops. This means you can use all the old event resources you collected, you traded, you have in your stock and use it for something useful. About the limits, we cannot um, make sure that we can open all the limits, but we will investigate in this. More information will come. Please check our forums, webpage, Facebook and Twitter. We hope you enjoyed the look behind the scenes on what's to come in The Settlers Online. And we can't wait to share more in the future and are looking forward to sharing more awesome community news. Thanks for watching and see you in The Settlers Online.